السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ ریسپیکٹڈ بردرس ان اسلام ٹو ڈے آئی لائک ٹو سی فی ورڈس اباؤٹ دا سگنیفیکنس آف آزان اینڈ ریوڈس آف مؤزین آزان مینس ٹو کال سم وان ٹو اسٹیبلش پریئر کنگریشنلی آزان مینس ٹو انوائٹ پیپل ٹو دا وے آف اللہ who gives azan is called muazzin most of us don't know the history of azan once our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with his blessed companions arranged a meeting the topic of meeting is how to gather people to read namaz in jamaat sahaba e karam put their opinions some of them said ya rasul allah let's show or raise flags so that people will be see the flag and they will be able to understand this is the time of namaz some other companions put their opinions ya rasul allah we can burn the fire some other companions they put their opinions Ya Rasul Allah, we can blow the trumpet. Some of them put their opinions. Ya Rasul Allah, we can play drums. Such way, Sahabai Karam put their opinions. But nobody's opinion have been accepted the day meeting has been postponed because their opinions has been accepted those who put their opinions on raising flag some other opinions objected against this opinion they said all of the people won't be able to see the flag and who put their opinions on behalf of burning fire some other opinions objected against these opinions They said, Ya Rasul Allah, to burn fire is a work of politics, work of those people who worship fires. So we shouldn't do that. And to play, play drums, to play drums is the work of Jews. and to blow trumpet is the works of christians that's why the day their meeting was postponed after few days one of the companions of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is called abdullah ibn jabir radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma ran to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and told ya rasul allah last night i saw a dream and i saw someone taught me the words of azan nowadays we can see muazzins are giving azan and using some words 
which are seen to the companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even Hadrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, as well as some other companions saw the same dream. About 14 Sahaba Ikram saw the same dreams that night. They saw someone taught them the words of Azan. Then our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, I saw the same kind of dream, subhanallah. What are the words? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The way Muazzins are giving Azan in present days. This is the history of Azan. What are the rewards of Muazzin? At the day of judgment, prophets and messengers will be able to enter into Jannah first of all. After that, Khulafai Rashidin will be able to enter into Jannah. After that, Muazzin of Haram Sharif, Muazzin of Masjid Al-Aqsa, Muazzin of Masjid al and Muazzin of the mosque of the world, they will be able to enter into Jannah. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Mu'azzinuna atwalun nasu anaqa yawm al-qiyamah. The necks of Muazzin will be high at the day of judgment. People will be able to easily recognize them. They were the Muazzins of the earth. They will never be thirsty at the day of judgment. That's why their neck will be high. They will get high ranks at the day of judgment. In another hadith we find our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man azzana sab'a sinina muhtasiban kutiwad lahu bara'atum minan naar. Whoever gives azan will be giving azan for seven years without payment, without salary. He will be able to enter into Jannah. He will get the certificate of freedom from hellfire. We can find another hadith our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna shaytana iza sami an nida biswala zahaba hatta yakuna makana rawha Whenever azan is given, the devil runs away. He goes the place which is called rawha, 36 miles from Madinah Sharif. He goes the place from where he can't he heard the sound of Azan. As he doesn't like the sound of Azan, it troubles him. So in this present life, we can see some people who can't endure, who can't bear the sound, the voice of Azan. No doubt they are the children of devil. My dear brothers in Islam, I'm saying another hadith. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iza nudi abhi sala futihat abu abu sama was to dawa. Whenever azan is given, the doors of the skies are opened. And dua are accepted. In another hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Utlubu ijabat ad dua inda iltiqail juyush wa iqamati salah wa nuzul al matar. Look for the times of acceptance of dua. This is time of the Islamic war, 
time of iqama time of raining in these three times if anybody makes dua his dua will be accepted and granted the sound of azan should be high so that the sound can go far away far distance once amara rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bilalan ayyad ala asbi'ayhi fi uzmayhi wa qala innahu arfa'u li sawtik our love our heart our light prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once commanded bilal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu to put his fingers inside of his ears and give azan so loudly if he puts his fingers inside of his ears which will make his sound so high it will go far distance we find another hadith la yasma'u madda sawt al muazzin jinn wala ins wala shay'un illa shahida lahu yawm al qiyama whoever among mankind jinn other creation listen to the voice of voice of azan they will be witness at the day of judgment on behalf of muazzin subhanallah whoever will give azan for 12 years he will be able to enter into jannah subhanallah our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la yaruddu du'a bain al azan wa al iqama du'a is not rejected in between azan and iqama if anybody performs dua in between azan and iqama his dua must be granted and accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i'm saying another hadith our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when azan is given the devil runs away when azan is given the devil runs away discharging gas from its back from its behind when azan is finished then it comes back when iqama is starts then the devil again runs away discharging pad from its back when iqama is finished then it comes back when jamaat starts the devil look for the gap place in between people two person if he finds any gap place in jamaat time it stands in between two muaz two musalli and it starts waswasa it reminds people something which can make him forget how many rakats he is reading he forgets so it's not allowed to keep gap between musalli musalli should stand up without creating any gaps between two musalli devil our clear enemy doesn't good it doesn't want good for us every time it's trying to misguide us cuz it has challenged with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will misguide us he is whispering 
to us every moment, every time. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Azan, which is used for calling people to come in mosque to establish prayer, Muazin says, Allahu Akbar four times, or two till six times in every Azan. Five times he said, Allahu Akbar, 30 times Allah is the greatest. We find the slogan of Tawheed and Risala in Azan, where we find Allah's name as well as we find our Prophet's name. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah then Muazzin says, Hayya ala salah, hayya ala al falah. Come to salah, come to success. It means if anybody comes to salah, he will be successful in life here and hereafter. Our best takbir is Naray takbir Allahu Akbar. Naray risalat ya Rasul Allah. Deen Islam, Dindabad. Ahl Sunnah, Wal Jamaat, Dindabad. Quranir alo, gore gore jalo, hadisir alo, gore gore jalo. These are the best takbir in this life. When one of the greatest Ali, Awliya Allah, Shah Jalal radiallahu ta'ala, who pronounced Allahu Akbar, the places, the buildings of King Gaur Govinda has been broken, collapsed. After finishing Azan, we have some duties. First of all, we will read Dua. After finishing Azan, we will send Durood upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever we listen our Prophet's name, it's our responsibility to send durood upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We find in another hadith, whenever we will hear the name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we will blow on our thumb and we'll wipe with the thumb on our eyes. Our eyesight will be increased. We will never be blind till death. Insha'Allah. If we give azam at the time of crisis, problem, misfortunes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us from any kind of problems. Even He will save us from whispering of devil, from misdeeds of jinn, bhut, Ghosts, even he will save us from the trials of Dajjal. So if people knew what kind of benefits Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept for us in giving azam, then people, people, would cut the lottery, would start competition to give azan, to take part in first, first line of, first sub of namaz, jamaat. My dear brothers, I am going to finish my speech. Before that, I am saying another hadith. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when a shepherd goes to the mountains with his flock of goats or cows, at the time of azan, if he gives azan and if he reads namaz, and if he is scared of Allah, 
Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his angels, Unzuru ila abdi haza. Oh my angels, look at my servant. At the time of azan, he gives azan. He st established namaz. And he is scared of me. So be witness. Qad ghafartu lah. I forgave my servant. Wa adhaltuhul jannah. And I inserted him. I allowed him to enter into jannah. Paradise. May Allah bless us, give us power and ability to understand the speech, to understand the importance of giving azan, and understand the ranks of muazzin. May Allah bless us. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen.